bikini. Oh, absolutely. It is grisly, I think probably is the best way to describe it out there at the moment. It's damp, it's cloudy, really poor visibility as well. Some areas are going to improve. Away from the hills, we'll see visibility improving, but everywhere will stay quite cloudy this afternoon. And then for the rest of the week, a mild flow from the south, so uh, mild temperatures, but unsettled at times with several bands of wet and windy weather sweeping eastwards on and off through the rest of the week. So out there at the moment, the hills are underneath a lot of cloud. It's very damp here. I think away from the hills, we will see conditions improving slightly, but it will remain fairly overcast. It will continue to be quite damp for the Pennine chain. Temperatures, not cold, getting up to around 13 or 14 degrees, so a touch above average for the time of year with a gentle southeast breeze. Into this evening, very little change. Gradually overnight, as a band of rain tries to push in from the southwest, ahead of it we'll see some breaks in the cloud, and then light patchy rain arriving from the southwest towards the end of the night, and we'll keep quite a lot of hill fog in there, mist and burk too, with temperatures falling no lower than around 10 or 11 degrees. 11 is 52 Fahrenheit. So tomorrow, a cloudy day with some wet weather around this band of rain, which will slowly push northwards. There'll be some heavy spells on it, and it won't clear until tomorrow evening. So a pretty wet, miserable day tomorrow with some heavy and persistent rain at times. Temperatures tomorrow getting up to around 12 or 13 degrees. Still a light breeze, though. And then on Thursday, another band of rain spreads east. The general theme, mild, unsettled, wet and windy weather at times. But some drier, brighter spells in between, Lara. Good weather for trick-or-treating. Do you dress, dress up, do you? Uh, do, do, I'm, I may well, yes. Yeah. Not as warm as last year. We broke records last year, so... Oh, right. Yes. OK. OK, let's have some decent weather, Keely. Can you do that for us? No. no. Those cats are not going to light the forecast okay. for tomorrow. Not as cold as Russia, but it looks pretty damn miserable tomorrow. OK. It's quite it mild, though. Tonight. Yeah, well, it's not actually that cold for the, for the time of year. Uh, we've been stuck under a lot of cloud, but some parts of the south today got up to 20 degrees. And if you remember this time last year, we had the warmest Halloween on record, so yeah. it's mild, but not as mild as it could be or, or has been. Let's take a little look at uh, some of the photos that have been coming in over the last few days. Uh, it has um, been a rather cloudy day, really misty and murky today. This picture uh, shows that from uh, Padley Gorge in the Peak District. Uh, this is a particularly nice uh, photograph, the second one. Oh, that's not the one I was expecting, but that one is also very nice. So, Headingley Golf Club uh, this morning, it, it has been, as I say, uh, quite a misty and murky day. The third picture, which one will it be? Who knows? There you go. Uh, Hope Valley yesterday uh, as the uh, sun was setting. You can keep your pictures coming in. Paul the Weatherman at bbc.co.uk or you can tweet me at Keely Donovan. It doesn't look pleasant for tomorrow. It looks very soggy indeed. The rain will be heavy and persistent and once it arrives, I think it'll be with us for much of the day, not clearing again until tomorrow evening. And if that wasn't enough, we've got more to come through the next few days. Uh, a mobile flow from the Atlantic, lots of weather fronts pushing our way. In between them, there'll be some drier, brighter spells, but quite a few of those weather fronts pushing eastwards and quite blustery conditions at times as well. Having said that, tomorrow doesn't look that windy. So you can see all the cloud that we've been stuck underneath. We've got mist and hill fog out there. We might just see some breaks ahead of a uh, front pushing up from the south, but generally a lot of cloud tonight. Mist and murk persisting over the hills, visibility reducing elsewhere, and light and patchy rain pushing up from the south towards the end of the night. Temperatures not cold, getting down to around, well, out in the countryside around 8 or 9 degrees. So the sun will rise in the morning at 2 minutes to 7, setting again at around 20 to 5. Your next high water in Whitby will be at 10 to 4 in the morning. So it doesn't look a very pleasant start to the day. Similar to today, but a little bit damper. And then this rain really sets in. It'll become heavy and persistent from the south. You can see the vivid colours on the graphics. A real miserable wet day. Don't forget to take your umbrella. It will gradually clear away northwards towards the end of the afternoon. But, of course, we've lost an hour of light now, so it really will be getting dark by the time that rain clears away northwards. Not particularly cold. Temperatures about average for the time of year, getting up to around 12 or 13 degrees 13 is 55 Fahrenheit, but you can see the flow is from the south, uh, and the uh, breeze just light through tomorrow as well. So that rain will clear away northwards, and actually we'll have a fine night uh, Wednesday into Thursday. Some clear spells, but then through the day on Thursday, another band of rain pushes in from the west. There will be some rain, although the rain on Thursday doesn't look as heavy as the rain on Wednesday. Further spells of rain to come towards the end of the week, and at times through the weekend as well, guys. Pretty yeah. miserable for half term, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yes. Not very really good. good. That's just about as far as we go. Don't forget, of course, we'll have the goals. Hope there'll be plenty from the match at Hillsborough tonight. Good luck to Sheffield Wednesday. So enjoy the rest of your evening before the rain descends tomorrow. Yeah. Good night. Bye bye.
sure, can we, Keely? We can indeed. It looks, well, filthy, Harry. Absolutely <laughs> soggy through tomorrow. Some heavy spells of rain at times. And actually, once it sets in, it will be with us for quite some time. And then once that's out of the way, we've got further weather systems pushing eastwards through the day on Thursday and then again on Friday. The one on Thursday, not so heavy. The one on Friday, heavier. And these two may well be quite blustery as well. So out there at the moment, we've got a lot of cloud, mist and murk. It's a real grey all night. And we'll start to see rain edging in through the night. Temperatures, though, not on the cold side. And actually, the mildness is a theme of the week, around 11 or 12 degrees the low. So tomorrow that rain will become more persistent from the south. There'll be some really heavy spells. And look, it lasts well, for much of the day. It'll only start to clear away by tomorrow evening. Not particularly cold, not particularly windy. Temperatures up at around 12 or 13 degrees. That's it from the late team here at Look North.